We've got Lloyd in Washington. You're on with Hemet and Matt. How are you? Oh, man, that's a blessing, sir. I, I, I'll doubt I'm, that. I'm thankful God gave me the, the breath to say thank you just to talk to you guys and just share my experience. Do you think, do you think God wanted you to call? Uh, he gave me the breath to call, so I believe so. But did he tell you what to say? I'm speaking to you, so yes, no, no. Did. But did he tell you what to say? <laughs> yeah, so you said thank okay. you for letting me call. Yeah, so no, I'm, no. I mean, I'm did he? All right, I was trying to do something. Go ahead, Lloyd. You're 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 fine. What's the question, um, sir? I. I I was once like you uh, many years ago. I doubt ago. that. <laughs> um, uh, uh, an unbeliever. No, I'm, I'm serious. And I was oh, oh, I, I have no problem with the notion God. that you were once an unbeliever. I just doubt that you had a good reason for it because you're, what you're saying is you believe in God now, right? Well, I, I had a, a supernatural experience. How do you know that? Yes. that you wanted to... How do you know that? I'm sorry. How do you know that you had a supernatural experience? I, well, I'm, I'm, I'll explain to you, sir. Is cool. That, Go ahead. Um, I have a beautiful, I, I have a beautiful wife, and you know, when I was in the military, I had a um, a porn collection. I've I've had collections of it, and that was my wife for many years. And so, when I got married, I got married to two women, and my beautiful wife, who I saw at the beginning was beautiful, but later on. That porn became my wife, and when I cried out to God, like, "Hey, I need some help, man," because I was suffering, man. I mean, let me tell you, when when I was in my marriage, man, it was falling apart. My anger, my 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 life. Where's the supernatural part of this? Of what I was doing. In, I've had a sorry, wife, man. and I've had porn, and I've watched porn with my wife. What's the problem? Where's the supernatural here? Nothing wrong so with porn. That, the problem was that I, I I couldn't hear God because of how how I was living. I can't and I can't hear God. God. I, I can't hear God. Matt, how do you know you've heard God? I didn't either, man. But 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 I, I didn't either, man. But I was I was I was in a deep darkness in my mind. And well, I'm not. So you, I, I mean, I, I'm, no, 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 no. You don't. No, no. St stop, Lloyd. You don't get to say I'm in a deep darkness in my mind because you don't fucking know me. Yes, sir. Make okay. your case for what convinced you to believe so that we can address it. But if you're just going to come in okay. here and talk shit about porn, I mean, you said you had a supernatural experience, and we want to know what it was and how you know it was supernatural. So can you do that? Yes, I can. So when uh, I went to church and, and, and I asked the pastor, I said, hey, I come here every week, and this book says it's, it's going to fill me with the Spirit. And I said, I don't, I don't understand. Why am I not getting filled here? Why am I not feeling this, 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 this Jesus that everybody says? Because the book's wrong. And he looks, hold on. And he looks, he looks me in my face, and he tells me, "You'll never get filled here." And I, and I, and I got upset. I was, I was really upset. He said, "No, you'll never get filled here." I said, "Well, sir, look, I'm trying to read the Bible." Where, where do I start at? I don't. I don't. I. I never. I do. I start in Genesis. Do I start in Matthew? I have. I have a hard time reading the Bible. Where, where do I start? Because it felt like I was reading calculus. It, it, it didn't. It didn't. It, it wasn't. It, it. It was hard for me to read. And he said, "Well, why don't you just start in John?" I said, "Okay." So I went home, threw the Bible on the table, and my wife was in the other room, and I was getting ready to go close the door, pull down the shade. And I was getting ready to go turn on some porn. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to do this no more. You know what? I'm not going to do this. And so I deleted it. I mean, I, I literally deleted it all. And it hurt my heart, man. I felt like I threw my wife in the trash can. You do know there's an internet, right? You can't, you can't actually delete porn? No, no. But what I'm saying is I felt like I deleted my wife. I felt like I threw her in the trash can because of the, that I made that commitment to just to have one wife. Okay. And when and when I did that, man, I I, I I laid in the bed that night, and I cried out. I said, "God, if this book is real, just show me. You know, if this is really real. Show me." All right, yeah. here it comes. Yes, finally. And what was the answer? 
Got her porn. So at three o'clock in the morning. So so at three o'clock in the morning, man, I, I woke up and I thought I was having a panic attack. I I, I didn't know what was going on. I was crying. I, I I literally was. I felt something that was inside of me. Um, it was it was. It, it was, I felt light. I felt I felt something like something lifted off my shoulder, and and I and I said, "Babe, there's something wrong here." She's like, "Oh, what's wrong? What's wrong?" I said, I, I, there, "There's something wrong here. I, I, I'm feeling something here," and and I said, uh, it's, "It's something powerful." And I said, "Let let me let me." Let me let me guess a number, you know, because I, I felt like I could read like minds or something. I didn't know exactly what I, it was crazy. I'm about, about to call mind. bullshit. No, hold, hold on, hold on, sir. Just wait on one second, one second. Okay. So, I, when, so when when she when when she when when she thought of a number, I got it wrong. Okay. I, I, All was, right. <laughs> I'm not going to call bullshit. <laughs> Congratulations. Hold, 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 hold on a second. Did no, I, no, I'm with you. Go ahead. Keep going. Think of a color. I, I said, I said, well, let me think of a color, and she said, okay, and and I got the color wrong. I said, okay, but I remember when I had some troubles, man. I went to this to this Bible camp, and I didn't have. Wait, a what happened to the rest of that and, story? But but hold on a second. I, I, no, I'm, 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 no, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm, sir, I'm, no, sir, okay, Lloyd. Yes, 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 you yes, hold yes, on, yes, sir, Lloyd. I'm, you know, I'm, no, no, Lloyd. Yes. You hold on for a second. You had a panic attack or something, and you saw something that was powerful. So you woke up your second wife, and you tried to guess a number and got it wrong, and you tried to guess a color and got it wrong. And now you're telling us about a different story. You've moved on to something else. What else? No, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I was going to get into the context of the Bible that I, I received. I, would you just tell us what, what happened that, that convinced you yes, that you that yes, a God yes, was talking yes, to you? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. So my immediate notion was to grab the Bible. I grabbed the Bible. Well, there's your problem, up, sir. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. When I grabbed it and opened it up, it, for the first time in my whole entire life, I was able to see the words clearly in the Bible. I mean, it looked I like, can right it looked like I can do that right now. I can. No, what I'm what I'm saying is, sir. Beforehand, it looked like calculus. Okay, well, I've been reading the Bible since I could read, and none of it looks like calculus. As a matter of fact, I just randomly opened to uh, Ezra 3, and I can read it. And when the seventh month was come and the children of Israel uh, were in their cities, I need my glasses. The people gathered themselves together as one man to Jerusalem. Nothing about that's calculus. Can we drop all of the hyperbole and flowery stuff and just get to what convinced you? Okay. Okay, so, so at that point... Because in order for me to hear God, I had to clean myself out of what I was doing wrong, and th and that was, I was cheating on my wife. I'm, I didn't know I was, but the spirit made me. A, it, the spirit of truth came inside of me at that moment. Okay, so Lloyd, I'm I'm I, I swear, Lloyd, I'm almost done because what I want to know is what happened that changed your mind. I don't want to know what you think. God was convicting you of, because I think that's all bullshit. Uh, what happened that changed your mind? The personal story feels like you told it many times before, but okay. the emotional okay. so, journey you went through. So, so, see, because I could, there, there could be a hundred people who could call the show today to say, oh, I was an alcoholic, or I really liked porn, or I, I had a drug problem or whatever, and I'm convinced that Jesus fixed me of it. That could happen all the time. We need something that we can evaluate, not just what you think happened. Tell us what happened and how you know it was supernatural and, and God. So, 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 so God gave me a word to share with you and, and it's a word of truth. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to read this to you. Okay. That um, I've written. <clears throat> I a word of truth. With you with okay. love. I want to share, I want to share this with you with love. Just share it or I'm hanging up. Sir, the, the 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 we we are we are dying because of our anger, because we are living unforgiving lives, and if we want God to forgive us, we have to forgive others. And so He made me realize that I'm angry because I refuse to forgive. Hey, so I'm, done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, and I'll tell you why. I'm done, and I'll tell you why, Lloyd. I just I just proved that your God either doesn't exist or did not give you a word of truth. I just proved it because you're convinced that God gave you this word of truth to deliver to me. And the word of truth is that we are dying because of our anger. That's not true. 
we're living unforgiving lives. That's not true. And the next sentence out of your mouth was, and if we want God to forgive us, I don't give a fuck about God forgiving us. And if there was a God anywhere in reality who had a message for me, he would know that I don't care whether he forgives me. And so he couldn't possibly have sent you, Lloyd, with a message that I don't give a fuck about, could he? That's fine, sir. I mean, I, I wasn't here trying to com, com, convince you to join me. Oh, I, yes. I, you, what, it, what was the point of the no, call? No, you that's just all. called in that's because that's you that's think that's God that's had a message for me. And when I tell you that that message couldn't possibly be for me, now you're just like, oh, well, I wasn't trying to convince you of anything. How dishonest are you, Lloyd? But this is not about religion, sir. This What this book taught me is that I need I, to be wait, a better man. Stop. And, 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 Lloyd, did I say it was about religion? I said it was about God. You said there's a God who has a message for me, and I said that message is a load of shit, and no God would have sent it to me. What's your response to that? Sir, he just wanted me to share that. Why would God want you to give me a message that I don't care about? What kind of idiot is your God? But because, because you're asking for proof and evidence. Yeah, and did you provide any proof? You provided the exact opposite story. of proof. Yeah. If, if God, yeah. if God yeah. knows, does God know what's, Lloyd, does God know what's in my mind and in my heart? You want to know him. That's why. That's why does God, no, oh. I don't want to know him. I just want to know if he's real. Does God know what's in my mind or in my heart? He, yes, he does. Okay. And so you think that same God who knows my mind and heart gave you a message that makes you look foolish and does not do anything to demonstrate the truth of God. You think that's, is God punking you? Sorry, I mean, here's the thing is that I, 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 should, I should die for my brothers and my sisters. In the no, you shouldn't, you should so, live and you, you should live what? free. You should unshackle your mind. You should unshackle your mind from religions that are not true, from beliefs that are false and damaging, from beliefs that have used, been used to enslave people, to manipulate people. You should free yourself. That's what you should do. You shouldn't be dying for anybody. And you shouldn't call in and say, oh, God wants to, you You know, do you want God to forgive you? I don't give a fuck if but, God ever forgives anger, me though, because there's no the, God. But, but why, there's no why, anger. Angry, there's no anger. There's no anger there. It's this is not point. angry. You haven't, you said you were telling us a story with supernatural proof. There's no proof. There's just a lot of your personal history but none of it's convincing. None of it's evidence of anything. You just disproved the very God you believe in. There's nothing angry here other than I am, I am irritated that you are willing to die to a belief that you just disproved. I'm sorry, i tell you this, let me ask you this. Every, every time you eat a meal, every time you eat a meal, how do, do, you, do you have some type of lab or something in your house to check to make sure that whoever put the food together for you to eat had Hadn't, didn't have a bad day on a job and put too much of something? No. You just eat it out of faith, right? No, I don't. No, I don't. That's the thing, Lloyd. It's not faith. I have really good evidence that we have worked towards a society that minimizes the risk of that. I never eat a meal assuming that it's not, you know, oh, this meal isn't poisoned. I've had food poisoning before. What I do is I eat the meal with a confidence that is proportional to the evidence that it's unlikely that I'm going to be poisoned. You don't just and faith isn't God, just and that's all God a lack of certainty. For too, if you had the same, if you put that same confidence in in, in, in believing in Him, I tell and, you and, what, and, you, and, you and put God, happen. Lloyd, this, Lloyd, this. put God on a plate like my steak, and I'll believe in it. Until then, you might as well, you might as well be calling in to say that this is what fairies want. Fairies just want us to believe with a little but, bit of faith. But, but you, but you, but you don't, but you don't put your food on the same scale as you're trying to put the Bible. And so, until because food is fucking believe, real, Lloyd. <laughs> Food is fucking real. What I'm saying, but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is here. Let me tell you something. The Bible, the, the okay. rule says you have to have faith to play this. You can't. You no, can't it doesn't. The rules to play no, the game. no, it doesn't. You called in saying you had proof. Faith. You, you, you called in saying you have proof, not that you wanted us to take anything on faith. We haven't heard any of that yet. 
Yeah, I'm not going to believe things on faith. Faith is the excuse people give when they don't have evidence. I believe that my food is unlikely to be poisoned because I have evidence that it's unlikely to be poisoned. I do not have sufficient evidence to conclude that God exists. And when people like you call in with a message from God, which disproves the very God you believe in, all that does is make it worse. So God is punking you if, if he's real. And God is actively working against anyone realizing that he exists because you believe in a God that just sent you onto a show to show that that God can't be real. He can't. He is real. No, he can't be. Not the God you believe in. No, he can't, Lloyd. He can't, Lloyd. He can't, Lloyd. The God you described can't be real. You set up You set up a contradiction. The God you described can't be real. That's it. There's no two ways about it. It's just a fact. If your God knows my brain and wants to deliver a message in your mind that's going to change my mind and, and delivers a message that actually solidifies my position and counters the God that you believe in, then your God is either the biggest idiot in history or he doesn't exist or he's evil and malicious and trying to make you look so foolish and hide himself. Well, let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you this, man. If, if, if you look at John 1.1, 1, 1, if, you, if, if you look oh, at John 1.1. 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Yes, I know it by, by, by heart. Right. And you know what? So what does Captain you, Kirk need with a starship? Hold on a second. So what? No, no, no. I'm not holding on for any seconds. What does Captain Kirk need with this, or what does God need with a starship? Said Captain Kirk. Sorry. But, but, but you asked for the message here, and so so here's the I, message. You remember? No, Jesus no. I did not ask you to just yeah. quote scripture at me. That's not going to convince me. Do you do realize that I used to believe like you did, and that I was going to be a preacher, and that I know the Bible probably better than you and most of the people who call the show? You didn't mean like finish. How are you going to sit there and assume that I'm, I'm not going to say a message that you're going to need to hear if you're going to because I know you. Nobody who was trying to convince me of a God would ever say, "Hey, go read John one one." No, because that say, won't work. Saying it. I don't need you to finish saying something true. stupid. How about you say you know, like you're going to? Are you? I mean, Miss Cleo over here or something? I mean, yes. I'm, I, I didn't yeah, Lloyd, like Lloyd. 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 Yes, because Miss Cleo is not psychic either. Lloyd, did you just tell nothing. me? Did, did you just tell me to read John one one? Yes, I did, and you, and you didn't say you know what I'm going to say. Like you didn't even let me finish what I'm going to say. I he knows it's, it's, John one one. Why, why would you tell me to read John one one? So, so the big message here, sir, is that the that our words are killing. I swear, us. I'm going to hang up. Are, why? Why you? Hang I up asked for? you a question. Answer it. Why would you want me to read John one one? Because that that's that's the message that you need to know is that it's our word. Do you think do you them, think that the guy you. who just do you think that the guy who just quoted it to you verbatim doesn't know that message? What, how how much does your God hate you that He's trying to make you look so silly? But you're asking about morality, and so morality. I didn't ask about morality. I didn't ask about morality at all with you, John, with with you, Lloyd. I asked about. Your what changed your mind? That's what I asked about. And you came here with a message from God, and you think your God wants you to tell me to read John one one when I can but quote it verbatim. That book, but let me just say this: that book made me a better man. And, 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 and just, I'm glad. I, I, I'm I glad something made you a better man. I, 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 I wish you would free your mind. I don't cheat on my wife anymore. I don't. I don't. I'm not angry at my wife anymore. You weren't. You weren't and, cheating and, on your and, wife. And, and I, yeah. I, you weren't cheating on your wife. I wasn't cheating on my wife when I watched porn. I wasn't cheating on my wife when I watched porn alone or when I watched porn with my wife. You weren't cheating on your wife. Somebody it's, convinced you that normal human sexuality is a problem. Now, for you, maybe it was. Maybe it was a distraction where you weren't as interested in your wife. I'm glad that your relationship with your wife's better, but it has nothing to do with a god. I closed the door and pulled down that shade, and she was in there doing something else. I was cheating on her because that was another woman I was looking at while she was in the other room. Yes, yeah, so that's only if you believe the bullshit things in the Bible about if you look on a woman with lust, you've committed adultery in your heart. I'm sorry, adultery is adultery. Adultery in your heart is just lust, and lust is what drives the world. Lust is the reason you wanted your wife in the first place. Lust is the reason you got married. Yeah, but lust will drive me away, too. Okay. Well, then fix that, but it doesn't have anything to do with God. You replaced one addiction with another. Yeah. Right, and so if you want if you want to hear God, you need to start being like God, and that's not godly. That's, okay, that's not morally. Lloyd, Lloyd, that. Lloyd, but, stop telling me what I need to do to hear God, 
because all you're engaged in is sophistry. Either provide a way to actually hear from a god and get evidence, or we're done. I did. I just said stop. No, you didn't. You there no, was no evidence. You just said no. You, right. You, I, mean, you, I, I, I am the evidence. I mean, what, what evidence? You're not you the know? evidence. You are not the evidence of God. Life, I'm sorry. Your, your life I mean, anecdote I mean, is I mean, not evidence of anything. Yeah. Field or something. I mean, what do you want to see? A genie? I want like some fucking evidence of a god, not just hey, I used to not like my wife as much as I like the hotties in the porn, right, and but, a book but, and a book right, convinced so me of it, so okay therefore there must be a god. And, and, to, and, and to look at other women. Here, I've muted you. I want actual evidence, not just what you feel happened with regard to the fact that you weren't as attracted to your wife as you were about the hotties in porn. I want Every actual evidence and a way to engage with it. Everyone goes through life changes. The fact that people can in their minds better themselves is not evidence of God's existence. Well, 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 let me, let me just, you got, have you guys ever played Zelda before? Yeah. And let me just say, you're not going to keep going because we got five, three minutes left in the show and I want to get onto it in one more caller, but thank you. I, I'm not going to let I you do. start a conversation about playing <laughs> Zelda after all of that. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> From porn to Zelda. I usually go from Zelda to porn, but I was going to say that's the right way to do it, yeah. but oh well.